SpaceX next big Starship upgrade for the next flight. There have been numerous upgrades in the entire spacecraft after the first failure. SpaceX has learned a lot from their mistakes and for their second orbital flight of Starship, they have made over 1,000 upgrades in the spacecraft. Many companies are awaiting to see a successful launch of the Starship as they have signed several deals with SpaceX regarding the use of their Starship. In fact, NASA is also the one in queue. The previously used reusable Starship Ship 24 and Booster 9 were completely destroyed by its self-destruct system which was expected to work even faster. Somehow, SpaceX manages to understand the problem with the spacecraft and that's why they sent the command to destroy it. In the newly built Starship 25 and Super Heavy Booster 9, they made many changes that are going to blow up your minds. It's well known that the company had faced a huge destruction at the launch site which was exactly the main problem they have been facing. The company was already having the upcoming prototypes for the upper stage and boosters for the Starship, so they didn't fear commanding the Starship for self-destruction. April 20th, only one thing came to SpaceX's fans after hearing this date. And that was the failure of the most awaited Starship project. The SpaceX fans, as well as the company's CEO, have full faith that the company is going to make the next Starship flight very soon. But that is not going to be easy. It's always necessary to learn from your mistakes and SpaceX proved this. They have made numerous upgrades in the next prototypes so that they don't face the same issues again. During the first flight, they mainly faced two issues, which were the separation of Starship upper stage and the super heavy booster, and the second one being the less engines working and producing less power. The Starship was supposed to separate after three minutes of flight, but it kept on joined with the booster up to four minutes. This problem was a big one, and for this the company's CEO, Elon Musk, has planned to use the hot staging technique for the upcoming launch. The company has planned to continue firing the booster's engines, and at the time when they'll start to turn them off, the upper stage engines will start to fire up. This will also provide a centrifugal force, which in turn would result in an easy separation. But, there is a big problem with this. Stay tuned till the end to uncover that. The second major problem was with the booster engines. It was that 30 out of 33 engines were working and the other three experienced a power cutoff. The multiple Raptor engines which were used in the booster were the V2 Raptor engines with 250 bar pressure and 280 tons thrust. At the time, S25 and B9 were under development. There was also a secret weapon which was under development. And that was none other than Musk's stated Raptor V3 engine. The Raptor V3 engine has performed well in his tests and achieved a record-breaking 350 bar combustion chamber pressure and 269 tons of thrust during a 45-second McGregor test ignition. Moving back to the upper stage, Ship 25. It is just an upgraded version of the Ship 24 Starship. No specific changes have been made to it. As the Ship 24 has heat tiles, so does this. But, as it is SpaceX's build, it must have a better design and looks. Ship 25 is covered with heat tiles all the way to the windward side. And you know why the heat tiles are aligned this way? It is just because to ensure that no more destruction happens to the spacecraft. Yes, the heat tiles provide an extra safety to the entire vehicle so that it can easily return to the atmosphere of Earth without eventually catching a fire. The Ship 25 had already gone under many tests including the first proof tests starting from November 1st, 2022. It passed three tests in which all its tanks were filled with the liquid nitrogen back in November 2022. The same test was again performed well by the S-25 in May 2023. On June 14th, the tanks of the upper stage prototype were loaded with the propellants so that its ignition initiation test must start. In this upgrade, they activated the Raptor engines with liquid oxygen turbo pumps. They also performed the test for this upgrade, but they didn't test out the extreme level of ignition because that test needed to be aborted due to some reasons. The test was reperformed on June 21st and was completed well. And to the very present, on June 26th, the prototype had finally completed its static fire test and this time, all its six Raptor engines performed well. The static fire test was eventually done at the launch area at 027 Universal Time Coordinated. All its six Raptor engines, of which three are C-level Raptor engines and the rest three are Raptor vacuum engines, were turned on for just six seconds of time. Ship 25 is on its suborbital pad B at the moment and was transferred here right at the time when its test campaign began. So, this was just the upper stage, I guess?
right? Now, it is the turn for the most upgraded part of the Starship, its highly upgraded part both physically and technically, the Super Heavy Booster 9. The most notable upgrade in the Booster 9 is the removal of its hydraulic power units. Well, what is it? All the 33 Raptor engines of the Booster 7 were powered with the thrust vector control which was initially powered through hydraulic units. Now, in the Booster 9, it is changed to the electric controls. The electric control system also provides an exclusive easy movement of the 13 out of 33 Raptor engines. This is because the 13 engines are mobile and might help change the direction of the entire vehicle. The outer 20 engines are completely fixed and they will provide a better upward thrust than before after the upgrades are done. Many of the hardware parts have been changed with the booster. The liquid methane pipes which are required for the gimbling of the engines are now relocated to the thrust puck. This in turn would simplify the process of reassembling the 33 Raptor engines and thus saving more time. More and more technical upgrades have been done in the Super Heavy Booster 9. Various vents modification is also done. If everything went well with the Booster 9 testing and its combination with the S25, then this will become the SpaceX's first booster to reach the orbit with the Starship as Booster 7 was blown up in the mid-sky without reaching the orbit. You remember, I told you to watch till the end as there was one major problem the company can face while using the hot staging process, and it was with the booster. The Raptor sea level engines in the Ship 25 are so powerful that it might affect the booster's body because as planned, they will turn them on with the booster attached to the upper stage. And so, for this, the company has been planning to develop a shield over the booster to protect it from the fire of six Raptor engines of the upper stage. It's still not disclosed whether all the six engines will be fired at the same time for hot staging or not. The upgrades at the launch pads are also must as the first flight gave it a severe damage and so it requires design changes as well. For that, the company has come up with an idea of building a water steel plate at the bottom of the orbital launch mount so that it cools down the beat exhausted by the 33 powerful Raptor 2 engines. It's not an easy task to do in a period of just two months, but the company proves that anything is possible and that's what they did. Ready with all the equipment, Ship 25 already shipped to the launch pad, just the booster shipping is left. FAA permission is also required and that might be also given very soon. What we are ending this video with is the news that both Ship 25 and Booster 9 are going to be the very first ones to actually possess hot staging. Let's have a talk in the comments on the newly established V3 Raptor engines, and do you want a separate video on V3 Raptor engines? Let me know in the comments.